G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the Elder Scrolls Online. The search for Baleen's Despair. Somewhere around here. Baleen. If only I had the energy to drown myself. I can't even do that. You must be Belian's despair. Despair? Sadness? Depression? What does it matter? I don't have the strength to argue with you. I hoped the river would calm me. But the flowing water just reminds me how stuck I am in this miserable life. Please, let me rot. It's all I'm good for. Is there anything I can do to help? There is one thing that might lift my spirits. Whenever I was sad as a little girl, I'd collect pretty blue flowers by the river's edge to weave into a crown. I saw the same blue flowers nearby, but I don't have the strength to gather them. I will gather the flowers for you. That's too kind, really. Don't waste your time on me. I'm sure you have better things to do. But if you insist, I suppose I'll still be here. The river is rising much more slowly than I thought it would. You will be here. Let's get them flowers. On the other side, oh, there's a sky shard there too. I wonder if we'll ever be able to swim under the water, beneath the surface. I mean, in all these years that hasn't happened, but maybe one day, maybe it'll be a profession. Diving, diving for treasures. There's one over there. Let's go get that sky shard seeing as it's close by. After we grab this. Wahoo! Where's this guy, Shard? Here it is. All the way up here. With a nice view. Nice view of Skingrad. I hope that's how you pronounce it, by the way. I'm pretty sure somebody's already said it. Other characters have pronounced it, but I find out it's like Skyngrad or something. A river flower? I don't know the river flower. Hopefully this cheers her up. Still don't know how to say her name, probably. Belien. I'm, I'm thinking it's Belien, but it could just as easily be. Baleen. I'm going with Belien. The flowers by the river's edge are so pretty. Maybe my tears could help water them. Oh, but they're so far away. I gathered the river flowers for you. You did that for me. Maybe there is still some kindness in the world. Ah, uh, these blooms are beautiful. The dark clouds in my mind are parting a little. I feel lighter. Your primary self is looking for you. I know. I just haven't had the strength to return before now. Maybe reuniting with her would be nice. Less lonely. She understands you like no one else can. That's true. I felt incomplete this whole time. I need her strength to help me shoulder the burden of my sorrows. Thank you for your kindness, stranger. I'm ready to go home. There you are, darling. Let me share your burdens. Please. 
I don't want to be alone anymore. You won't be. Not ever again. Oh. I feel so heavy all of a sudden. Good work. That's one less facet to worry about. How do you feel? I feel... sad. Oh, it aches. What's this pressure in my chest? I can't stand it. What can I do to help? Please, return another facet. There's one nearby. It feels boisterous. My delight, maybe. I need more than despair. It's overwhelming. I always liked celebrating at Stone Chip Tavern in Antus. Check there. Now, I need to lie down for a bit. I can think of better places to lie down, like maybe just here? <laughs> just like a little bit further away from the water? Maybe on this rock? Maybe here under this tree? She wants to get her clothing all wet. Okay, so where is this place? Otis? Otis? Otis, what was it called? Otis? I met, I met Belian, her sorceress. Uh, she became overwhelmed with despair after merging with her facet. She asked me to search for her delight in Stone Chip Tavern in Ontus. Okay, let's path. Pass, just pass all the uh, quest over there. Skin Grab Vineyards is the closest way shrine. So let's go there. What kind of trouble do you think we can get up to here? Oh, there's a quest there. Can we ignore it? I have to. <laughs> oh, maybe I just abandoned them to die. Maybe it'll be a little bit difficult to ignore that one. Valaria, Kelidius. Oh, you stopped. Good. I need help. Well, my expedition needs help. We were trying to recover an artifact from the Lucent Citadel, but we were attacked. I don't know who else survived. I just ran through a portal and wound up here. Oh man, look at her face. What the hell happened? What's the Lucent Citadel? It's an ancient Daedric fortress buried in the sands of Fargrave. We thought we were the only ones there, but we were wrong. Fargrave? It all happened so quickly. I hope you can help them. Do you know who attacked you? Nelatai would know. Nothing escapes her notice. If you think you can help us, please find her. She's wealthy and doesn't care for mortal currency, so I know she'd make it worth your while. Please say you'll go. I'll talk to Nelatai. Maybe not yet, but fairly soon. If you have any friends, you might want to ask them to join you. Oh. I don't know if the expedition is still under attack or what is happening. It could be exceedingly dangerous. The portal is there. Whenever you're ready. Okay, so this is the trial. Trial slash raid. Which, of course, I can't do because I'm only one person. Um, what was your expedition to Lucent Citadel for? Our leader can speak to it more than I can. I just know that we needed to obtain a powerful and secret object from the depths of the Citadel. No one has ever succeeded in recovering it yet, but we had a plan. I hope it's salvageable. Are you a scribe of Mora? My clothes give it away, don't they? I'm a newer member of the scribes. This was going to be my first big expedition, but you can see how well I did. Maybe next time I'll just stay in Scrivener's Hall. Is there anything you can tell me about the Lucent Citadel? I don't trust those ruins. Maybe it's superstition or paranoia, but it felt like there was something ancient and dark lurking in there. I mean it. If you have anyone who might be willing to watch your back, find them before going in. What were you doing for the expedition? I was in charge of the maps. The Citadel is in ruins, so parts of it are impassable, and others haven't been charted at all. 
Our leader is a great cartographer, but I guess his attention was needed somewhere else. I had to plan our routes. Okay, so let's, we'll go in. And I'll hand in the, uh, the quest. Though shrouded in mystery, the Lucent Citadel stands as a gleaming structure in the sand of Fargrave's wastelands. Records and tales differ on the nature of what lies within. Fargrave? So this is... okay. So I wonder what it looks like actually on the outside. We'll find out because there are a few quests around there. That's uh, Fargrave. Fargrave was a place we visited in a different expansion. Uh, part of Deadlands, I believe. The Deadlands expansion, yeah, that's right. Or, or DLC it was. Which was a good DLC. You will live, Brindanir. Persisa, do we have more water for the wounded? This one would look, but it's doubtful. Sales pitch for the Null Arca. Is there in your possession an object of magical excess in your home, workshop, fortress, etc.? Are you concerned that the magical excess will destabilize everything you hold in importance? Do you wish that the unstable and chaotic magical output from your object could be relegated to an unoccupied section of the ether? Note, this is not precisely how the Null Arca works. Specifics are considered propriety information. Look no further than the Null Arca, a contain capable, container capable of stabilizing chaotic artifacts, relics, inventions, and all manner of other volatile objects. Null Arca, is there a price you're not willing to pay to protect everything else you possess from that one thing you own? Note to Nelatai, the last line may need some revision. Nelatai. You haven't attacked. So I'll give you one chance to answer my question. Are you one of Zorin's? Or are you here to help? Valaria Calidius? 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 Send me. The assistant cartographer? I expected to find her under a pile of rubble. I assume she sent you here to help. Or why send you to me specifically? She said you would know what happened here. She flattered me. But she is right. I know exactly what happened. It's that fool Zorin's fault. But I'm getting ahead of myself. You came here out of curiosity. That's a value I like to encourage. Accept this as payment for showing interest. Right. Now I could explain everything, but you should really speak to Kashago. He is supposedly in charge of this mess of an expedition. I hope he sends you after Zorin. If that battle broke my Null Arca, I'm going to be upset. What is the Null Arca? A powerful container capable of pacifying even the most chaotic of magical items. This expedition inspired me to make it. If I can prove that it works, I can sell them. Imagine, all the unruly objects of oblivion contained and secure. You don't know if the Null Arca works? I tested the Null Arca against my own relics, but tests do not convince Fargrave's elite, and I refuse to sell on verified merchandise. Inside the Citadel is the most unstable object I know of. If the Arca contains it, then it's a success. Who is Zorin? He's a pompous waste of horns, if you ask me. Zorin's the reason our camp is in shambles. Somehow, he got it in his head that he owns the Arcane Knot. Then what's the Arcane Knot? The object of this expedition. Oh, I'm not too interested in the Arcane Knot specifically, but Zorin won't stop until he's got his dirty clothes on it. I'm sure the Knot is the only thing he thinks about, the idiotic fool. How did Zorin do this much damage on his own? He had help. A group of necromancers who did most of the work. Zorin isn't a formidable mage himself. He has some power, but I've seen stronger casters. Still, you can see the damage they did. I'm surprised any of the mortals survived. So I imagine this is the entrance. Yep, okay. It's a shame that I can't actually do it in a, like a story mode and just go through myself. 
that uh, maybe one day, maybe one day it'll be accessible. Kishargo? A friendly face is always a welcome sight. Kishargo only wishes he could enjoy it. The Lucent Citadel was supposed to be empty, so Kishargo hired explorers, not warriors. But we have just been attacked, so he would like to hire you. Who attacked you? Melatai recognized their leader as a Dremora called Zorin. Apparently his goal is the same as ours. Somewhere within the Citadel is the R.K. Nat, a deeply unstable and mysterious object. If the R.K. Nat is so unstable, why do you want it? Kishargo has his reasons, but look around. Zorin did this. He should not have the Nat's power. Our camp contains the Null Arca, a container to stabilize the Nott. We must find it before Zorin does, and place it in the Null Arca. Can you help? I can't, but I'm sure there'll be a group of capable advent adventurers coming through here soon. So if you actually end up doing this trial, let me know what it's all about. If you'd like to pop that in the comments, it would be of a great help. And then we can see, well... But then I have a better idea of what actually goes on in there. It's a shame, but, you know, hopefully one day. Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day it'll be possible to go in there. Some sort of, yeah, story mode. Where we can, um, you know, maybe just take all the companions that we have. And it'd be like a really much, much easier difficulty. Simply to get that story and then you go in there for the loot, you know. You go in there for the loot later on with all your, all your pals and all that. Hey, buddy. I said, hey, buddy. Of all the places this one has been, Skingrad is the most appealing. Imperials are quite friendly when they aren't invading lands that do not belong to them. I just need to sell a few things, pal. Alright, that'll do. Now, uh, we're continuing on this way. Gotta bring my quest back up. <laughs> it's there somewhere. Let's take a nice little ride. In the golden roads. Past the Weatherly Estate where we quested really early on in this series. Oh, there's a way shrine here, good. Oh, there's a quest there. Alright, I'm going to leave that for now. I want to focus on this. Although... No, no, let's just do this quest. I'll come back for that. Where is your... Where is Delight? I will bring your murderer to justice, Father. I know that voice. Sounds like Isabel. Or the voice actress behind behind Isabel, which I don't use anymore. I haven't used her, I haven't popped her out for a long time. Drink up, What's friends. a jumped up alligator gotta do to get a drink me. around here? <laughs> well, hello there, gorgeous. You fancy a drink? Berlin's Billion's delight, I presume. Ooh, you know me. But I don't know you. <laughs> I'd love to share a drink and see how well you hold your ale, but I seem to have run dry. Oh, West Wheeled Wallop is the best drink in this place. Fetch me a cask, and we can sit and talk for as long as you like. All right, I'll get you some West Wheeled Wallop. <laughs> I knew I liked you. You Where? hear that, barkeep? I've got a new drinking buddy. Oh, I'm just gonna go and take it, am I? Does it seem right? 
steal all oh, okay, I could steal one now. I don't need to steal one. Please make yourself comfortable, traveler. There's plenty of ale to go around. I'd like to buy a cask of Westwield Wallop. Westwield Wallop, you say? Westwield Wallop? That's our finest ale, and it doesn't come cheap. Uh, on second thought, never mind. And perhaps that's for the best. That ale, well, it packs a wallop. Well, this guy's not gonna. Please make your. He's not in fear of me running away. Wallop, you say. I'm good for that's it. That's our finest ale, and it's very well. One cask of Westwield Wallop. Our establishment is not responsible for any injuries obtained in the course of your inebriation. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is quality stuff, though, right? Did you get it? But don't dawdle, pour us around. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna drink it. See you, my friend. Well, drink up. Can I be seated while I drink? Ah. All right. Don't fall, buddy. Don't fall. Don't fall. Uh, that ale really packs a bunch. Damn it. <laughs> I might take a nap for a minute. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Don't worry, I already dug her back. Can we speak, friend? What? Sorry, what? What happened? <sighs> that was mortifying. I'm sorry you had to see that. I never did learn to hold my drinks. After all that, I would understand if you want to leave, but... I could still use your help, if you're willing. What else do you need me to do? That's a fair question. I don't quite feel like myself, and it's not just the headache I can feel brewing thanks to my delight's indulgence. I'm still missing two facets. I need you to get them back. Right, I'll look for the next facet. That's good, but I don't think this one wants to be found. It's my fear. The same facet you saw earlier. She probably ran to the deepest place she could find to hide. I sense she's in a cave or ruins southwest of Ontus. I'll look for your fear southwest of Ontus. Tread lightly. I hate to admit it, but I've never been good in a panic. Quite the opposite, actually. I doubt my fear will come willingly. I'll catch up with you as soon as I've settled... Well, I suppose it's my tab now, isn't it? She's not... She ain't got those stable legs. She got them sea legs. Uh, alright, let's see. Nothing here. Just the stuff you can steal. Now we've got another quest down here. Do my best to ignore him. I'll come back. Stargazer. Alright, so south, west, over here, it's quite a big town over here. Ontus is overflowing with new arrivals. I suppose I'm one too, although I keep a lower profile than these red guards. My employers generally prefer discretion in my line of work. Find Stargazer. Why did that? That wasn't a quest giver. How did I end up with a quest? I found a note from a trapper, but I didn't read it. Did I? No, I didn't. Uh, maybe I'll delete it, and then I'll read it again. Oh, we're gonna delve here. We're going to Delvin. Delving in the desolation. I have never seen wounds like these before. 
Oldest entry, our work can begin at last. These alien ruins are the perfect. Buried deep in the forest, no one will interrupt us. I can practically taste the necromantic energy infused in the tombs here. I must go, there are preparations to be completed. Next entry, I help my masters identify several magical focal points within the ruins. The ground pulses with powerful energy in these spots. The dead want to be raised here. Of that I'm sure. I've concluded, included a diagram of the areas with the strongest magical energy for them to reference later. We'll be again, we'll begin experimenting with the components for the ritual tomorrow. I've been asked to secure a whetstone for the dagger. It's a high honor. My masters must be pleased with me. The magic is so potent, I have no doubt we will succeed. We'll soon have an undead army at our disposal. Next entry. My masters have faith in me, for they have entrusted me with one of the most important pieces of the ritual, procuring the organic components for the spell. At first, I check the tombs within the ruins. The corpses here are ancient. The ritual will wake them, but for now we need fresher bodies. Instead, I've decided to select donors from among our ranks. After all, what use is in an impermanent flesh vessel when a life beyond the grave stretches for eternity? Next entry. Everything is in place. My masters have attuned their ritual tools to the necrotic energy in the ruins. I have provided the bodies to fuel the spell work. Tomorrow will command the dead to rise. Next entry. Something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. We were ready to begin the ritual in earnest. I placed the corpses in the correct locations and began chanting with the others. The necromantic energy seeped into the bodies and bedrock of the ruins when a blast of light blinded me. The explosion threw me into a wall and I was knocked senseless. I awoke covered in blood and rubble. There were screams and the sound of fighting. I don't know who our assailants are. Most of my fellow necromancers were killed in the blast. The ones that survived were quickly overcome by the intruders. They look like some kind of Daedra. But they're unlike any I've ever seen before. They haven't noticed me yet, and I pray they don't. Next entry. I don't know how it's possible, but my masters have returned from beyond the grave. I didn't raise them. They seem compelled to continue the ritual even after their deaths. It feels different somehow. Some of the words have changed and their revenants are twisted. They're not like the undead or spirits I'm used to. They terrify me. Even the otherworldly Daedra leave them alone now. I think I'm the last one left. I need to find a way out of here. Latest entry, that's it. I'm making a run for it. Let this journal be my epitaph if I don't make it. Well, you got so far. Stay back! Oh, apologies. I found this necromancer dying of vicious wounds. RK has her now. But you should be careful, traveler. There are dark things afoot here. What kind of dark things? The locals say Nunungala was haunted. As a priest of RK, it is my duty to investigate. I found this poor soul taking her last breaths, raving about a ritual gone wrong and undead necromancers. Please, I need help. I cannot handle this alone. What kind of help do you need? Something killed the necromancers inside the ruins, but I believe they have risen from the grave to continue their dark ritual. These spirits are an affront to RK and we must exorcise them. I will reward you for your help in this. All right, I'll help you stop the ritual. I found a journal among the necromancers' things. It revealed how the ritual began. Interrupting their spell should subdue the spirits and put an end to their plot. Read the journal, but be wary. Whatever killed the necromancers may still be inside. Enter Nonungalo. 